Hey everybody, Buck here. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to show you some of the recording setups that we use here on the Nexus, because uh, we are kind of going through a change. Um, for the first pretty much five years of our existence, almost all of the episodes that we've recorded have been at the studio at Ryan's house. Uh, Yes, the it's these two. So I, I like to call it uh, Nexus Prime because uh, it was the first, and then uh, Andrew Bailey's setup over in Pennsylvania is uh, Nexus East, and now here at our house, also in St. Paul, we are starting to kind of figure out how to record around here. So uh, I like to call us the Nexus Beta, um, but so over at Ryan's house, I'm gonna make myself nice and small over here. There we go. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. That looks good. Uh, so over at Ryan's house, the studio looks something like this from Ryan's perspective. Uh, we've got several microphones on stands, and they're all plugged into. If I can just scroll up here to the top, they're all plugged into this soundboard. Uh, so the soundboard has lot well about 12 channels, I think it was, uh, and we have all of the microphones plugged into that, so they all get mixed. And then that sends the signal to this computer that records everything. And that setup has served us really, really well over the years because it's simple. It doesn't take much thought. Um, you know, we, we just go to the studio, record everything, and then uh, it doesn't take very much, like, editing to make it sound good, right? To, to merge everything together because it's already been merged together. And it also worked really well when we were doing 8-bit because 8-bit was uh, Decker and I were both remote. We were at college. And so instead of having to record everything separately, uh, it all got, got merged there at Ryan's house uh, and then recorded as one channel. Um, so this is kind of what it would look like here. Uh, this is a recording from the extra dimension number 17 and uh, so as you can see we're going to hear several different voices coming through this one channel that's taken the greater part of a year to finish well here we are we've made it yes this is the final you episode you might say that we've arrived <laughs> it's been you a long journey destination so from from Ryan's perspective when we finish wrapping up an episode all he has to do is he takes this one file with all of the audio in it, and he does all of the audio processing on that. Uh, so it goes really, really quick, and then he can you know, publish an episode uh, mere hours after we have recorded it. Um, however, Decker and I wanted to start recording stuff without going across town to Decker's house. Uh, so we acquired... Or uh, Ryan's house, yes, thank you. Uh, so I acquired a couple of uh, microphones, and we came up with this funny little setup uh, on our own. Um, so we have our two microphones plugged in via USB to two separate computers because we don't have uh, a soundboard here. So, ev so our two voices were recorded as separate channels and then we sent the audio file from one computer to the other to get merged. And uh, it would look something like this, let's see. Uh, so as you can see, this track up on the top is my voice. This track down on the bottom is Decker's voice. So uh, you'll see that the the waveforms look different, and uh, you'll hear our voices at different times. The phone number and the data and, and all that jazz. Google is my cell phone provider. So at this point, Google is almost my everything. I know. You have submitted fully to our great Google overlords. Mm. So yeah, as you can see, like the waveforms here kind of alternate as we are alternating speaking turns. And uh, and that kind of complicates things in a couple of ways. Uh, for example, time drift is a thing. So as it turns out, different computers uh, don't have the same exact clock speed, and so they will there there will be a slight difference in how they time the episodes. Uh, so what I had to do after recording uh, this whole episode, which was um, uh, what, like 35 minutes long or so. And uh, by the way, this is second opinion number 13. 
Um, so every like 10 to 15 minutes, I would have to take one of the tracks, split it, and then nudge it over a little bit to line it up with the first track again. Um, so that's what this gap is right here. Because uh, otherwise you could hear a slight echo because we were both like right in front of each other. So even though I was mainly talking into my microphone, you could slightly hear my voice in through Decker's microphone. And so if I didn't line them up, then you would hear that, that echo. Um, and actually I can show you what that would have sounded like at the end of this track way over here. Uh, where's the end? Okay. Let's try that out. All right, if you jiggle your mouse over there and that thing's not recording, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marshall, how you doing? <laughs> so, yeah, it sounds pretty bad by the end of 52 minutes of recording. And that is that is one of the main reasons, one of the main disadvantages of recording as separate channels. But it does allow some really, really nice things, such as uh, early in the episode, Decker apologized for being sick because he was all sniffly. And it wasn't really an issue because I was able to just find all of the places where he was sniffing and mute his channel whenever he sniffed so that you couldn't hear it at all. Uh, even though I was talking while he sniffed, it, you know, if, if we had been... If those channels had been merged before they were recorded, it wouldn't have been impossible to mute his sniffs because it would have been in the same channel as, as uh, you know, as me talking. Um, but that's only something that we would do if we were putting a lot of time and effort into the recording or into the editing already. Uh, so for like really quick episodes where we don't want to put in that kind of production effort, uh, doing this separate channel recording wouldn't have any advantages really at all. Um, the other the other advantage that recording as separate channels would have would be if we are recording remotely, uh, they would have more benefits because a lot of times when when the recording is merged on one end and then recorded, if there's any like, uh, any problems with the connection, you know, if somebody's voice cuts out for a little while, there's, there's nothing that you can do to get that back. But if we recorded those two ends separately and then merged them, then both microphones would sound really good. We wouldn't be relying on the internet to uh, have a consistent connection. And, and you could also take advantage of the muting one channel versus the other if, if you know something went wrong if somebody was like rustling their microphone or whatever um, also I think you wouldn't have to worry about the drift as much because you wouldn't be hearing that echo between the two microphones if they were in separate places um, so I think I think for remote episodes we should definitely start doing uh, this separate recording more I believe that Brandon and Brian did it for like the Apple WWDC event or something like that uh, that they recorded together and it turned out li sounding really really good um, so for those for those situations I really like the se recording separately um, but for a lot of other situations uh, recording together merging it before recording it uh, would be the way to go and the other advantage of having the soundboard and everything of course is that uh, we can monitor the audio so we can have a bunch of headphones plugged into the soundboard so that we can all hear ourselves and we'll be able to tell if there's any audio problems while we're recording whereas if we if we don't if we uh, you know if we've just got them USB'd into a computer you don't want to be monitoring that because there's going to be a slight lag and it's going to sound weird um, so uh, unless we have microphones that actually have a headphone jack on them uh, luckily I do uh, we wouldn't be able to monitor these very effectively. Uh, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching this. Um, and go check out those episodes if you're interested. Bye.